We're at the Minds and Money Conference with John Hikeway, who is a president of Stormcrow Capital. John, thank you for joining us for this interview. Oh, thank you, Rachel. So talk to us about uh, lithium or cobalt. We, we hear a lot about it in the news. Um, is, it, is it a hype? What is it? Well, the lithium prices have been on a tear for the last year and a half. And actually, in China, in the spot market, the prices have already rolled over. We're, we're seeing signs that that's a bit of a bubble, um, that it's a market that's adapting to new buying conditions. Yeah rather than a, a long-term change in pricing. You, you have to understand, lithium is a fairly common material, mm -hmm. and it's fairly inexpensive to make. A good brine can produce lithium for about $2,000 a ton in lithium carbonate form, and it's hard to understand why people would have to pay long-term for something that's relatively right. common, mm -hmm. prices that are over $15,000. Cobalt is a slightly different story. It's mm -hmm. produced largely as a byproduct of copper primarily, but also nickel operations. <laughs> And what happens with cobalt is as nickel prices and copper prices go, so goes the availability. That's not something that battery companies are particularly, you know, are particularly welcome of. <laughs> they, they, they have to deal with, with a demand for cobalt every day. Mm -hmm. And so the need for primary cobalt projects and the need for more cobalt, generally speaking, is something that we're going to have to deal with over the next few years. So for, for investors to get ahead, is there the next big thing that you can mention for us? Well, everyone is excited about motive power, about the idea that we're going to all be driving battery electric vehicles. Now, I happen to think battery electric vehicles are a bit of a political construct. Mm. And what it's going to take to really roll those out into the mainstream would be a much, much lower cost battery. The latest breakthrough is a lithium air battery. Ah, Li me lithium metal on one side, air on the other side of the, of the, of the cell. Mm -hmm. But the thing that's enabling this battery to be recharged electrically to work for many, many cycles and the like mm -hmm. is that these small lithium particles are embedded in a, in a ceramic. Unfortunately, that ceramic is cobalt oxide. Mm -hmm. So these batteries still need lithium, right. still need cobalt, and we'll need quite a bit of it as well. At the Mines and Money Conference, what are some questions that were hard for people to, to ask and also to understand that you could uh, go over for us? I think on the, on the, on the materials side, mm -hmm. the questions are really down to is, is, lithium price, is lithium price that we're seeing now sustainable? Does this $15,000 or $20,000 a ton price make sense? I, to me, the answer again is no for the, for the reasons that I've suggested previously. On the other hand, they do ask about technologies that use almost none of these critical materials. For example, the, the Chinese battery initiatives that use lithium iron phosphate on the cathode, where you don't need cobalt, you need less lithium and the like. Those are good batteries in their own way, and we use them here in North America as, as, the, as the power sources for things like power tools. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're very high power batteries. Unfortunately, they don't hold very much energy. So while they can produce a very powerful power tool that works for an hour, you've got to recharge them at the end of that hour. And unfortunately, that doesn't really work as a cell for, you know, for an electric vehicle where you want to have the range to be able to travel and go visit your grandmother. Exactly. So the idea here is that you, know, you pick the right battery for the job, and if it requires critical materials, then we have to deal with the supply of those critical materials. Thank you so much, John, for your time. Oh, you're welcome, Rachel. Thank you. To watch more Minds & Money coverage, be sure to check out more videos on small cap power.